And I think that's critical. Is we as entrepreneurs can't come in and say, look, you owe it to us. This is our free IP. We need to, you know, we need a better deal of money by us from, from the outside can get. But another comment that came from Tom that I quote often is, we don't have to eat the apple in one bite. Right? So let's structure our deal so that we have a long-term relationship and everybody gets a little nibble on the, on the apple each time around. Does that make sense? So when we structure IP deals, if we can get the, the offices to realize they're being protected by the senior administration from making the Gatorade mistake. You know, we're not going to blame you for letting something get out of the door, but we're going to encourage and continue to develop these small startup companies. Now, maybe it's not a startup company. Maybe you're already out in here, and I don't know everybody's story here. I know several of you, but um, let's say you've got a company and you're trying with your Friday diagram to accelerate something. If you're, whether it's after an NDA or whatever, if you sit down with a guy like Tom, he can help you figure out if there's a way to get there from here, right? And if not, through the collaborative networks, they know which universities might be able to help you get that done with. And there's some other universities that are even better than USC is today, or Clemson or MUSC at doing tech transfer. But the difference is these guys are in a backyard and they're interested to engage, and they'll license the technology to a, a CELA, when CELA was just a phrase from the Bible and wasn't a company. You know, some guy with his business card that didn't have a company name on it, like I'm Michael Bull, like I'm in transition, you know? <laughs> you know, you've got to have, you've got to have vision uh, in, the, in the administration at some level, and then you've got to have the, oh, with respect, the worker bees that understand how to navigate through that system and halfway through that jungle and say, well, hold my hand, kind of follow behind me, I'll break the tackles and you can get through, right? And, and that's what I see in Tom with absolutely no question. He, he gets it, and he's been very helpful in us. And you hired um, a USC graduate. We did. Um, and, and in fact, so just uh, just like the Oak Ridge National Lab uh, folks, in the bioconjugation um, efforts, uh, um, uh, Chen had assigned this to a lead role to a PhD candidate, Sichi Lee. Uh, and this fellow was just brilliant. He learned to work with our dots in ways that, I guess, informed intuition. Uh, he created all kinds of embodiments, and ultimately we filed a patent in concert with USC in July of last year. So we had the CELA DOTS patent from Clemson, and then in concert with USC we filed a joint patent that showed CELA DOTS could go in a whole range of different opportunities. Now we're not going after all of those, but thanks to the conjugations that came out of local work, USC and CELA, and now Lab 21, have rights to, and have intellectual property protection, and, and help from Jeremy and, and others. Um, we have rights to block other folks from taking those market spaces away from us. One of the risks that we had was when you're desperate and you're in the early days, well, you know, and actually somebody said this, why don't you just be the dot company? Why don't you just make a bunch of dots and sell them to other people? The problem with that in our case was as soon as you sell dots to somebody, they can go and put it in cosmetics and then file a patent application and then you gotta pay. <laughs> I mean, they gotta, they gotta come back to you because you've got the commanding presence, but you can't do cosmetics without their IP, right? Well, this, I'm not, I don't mean to get too far down a rabbit trail, but Tom and the IP office here got that, right? And so they helped us to build all these uh, strategies that CELA wouldn't have been able to do by ourselves by engaging this powerhouse of researchers right here at, at the USC Nanocenter. 